Great. Hello, my name is Tim Coulter. I'm here to talk to you about Truffle. So first, I want to start up and say thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on stage. And uh, uh, I'm very happy to tell you about all the work that uh, we've been doing. First off, what is Truffle? Truffle is the most widely used devel uh, Ethereum development framework. To date, we've had over 17,000 downloads. 15,000 of those were this year. 6,000 of those were in the last two months. 421 GitHub stars. We have 397 Gitter users. I have to thank every user on there for answering questions of everybody else that I can't get to. And, and so far, we've had over 20 external global contributors. So for Truffle 1.0, we gave you the basics. It was compilation, deployment, bootstrapping your application if you're making a web app, uh, contract abstractions, unit testing, and AD and quit development. We added on that, on top of that, with 2.0 and allowed better network management, migrations, which, is, which supports complex deployment, and it knows that your contracts are going to change over time. We focused on modularity and completely rewriting the Truffle code base so that you can use only a certain portion of the Truffle code base if you need it. And then we had a big push for documentation. Now, what I want to talk about today is where we are now, and we're getting ready for Truffle 3.0. In doing that, I need to talk about the Ethereum JS test RPC. Now, the test RPC is a in-memory Ethereum client. And it is not under the Truffle moniker, but I see it as the sister application to Truffle. Um, I'm the main steward of this, of this application. And it, it basically provides instant mining, account creation, uh, HD wallet support if you need it. It's deterministic if you need it, and it's programmable. So what this means is that you can get quick development without having to use live chain or a private chain, no syncing, no mining. So the biggest feature of the test RPC is what, I, uh, is what I want to focus on today. And this is the fork feature. It's a big feature in a little package. So if you install the test RPC and then use the dash dash fork option, what this allows you to do is create a new Ethereum client and fork from any available chain. This means that if you're running Go Ethereum, you can fork and run a new development chain using all the, live, all the data that exists on the live chain. You can use Parity. You can use CPP Ethereum. You can fork from anyone you like. And this feature is perhaps the biggest feature uh, in development to date because in, in history of, uh, of development, especially web development, when have, you ever been, when have you ever had the chance to use live data and live code uh, without, um, excuse me, when you've had the chance to, to program uh, against a production database, for instance, with all the data that exists there and all the external interactions, all the, in this case, external contracts, um, and this will allow you to do so. So this has big implications for package management. It has big implications for security. For instance, I can program the Ethereum JS test RPC in, to exploit the DAO contract. For instance, I can fork from be right before the DAO presale and then give you this code that, it, that uh, shows you how this exploit happened. And this goes back to what they were talking about before, what uh, uh, specifically uh, Rain Revere um, dynamic analysis, we can use the test RBC for that. So the next big thing for Truffle is Solidity unit tests. This is, has been asked for for a while. And these are drop-in unit tests. You can, you can finally write your unit tests in Solidity, put them alongside your JavaScript unit tests, and Truffle will know how to run them. It uses Soli unit for its assertion library. That has been, uh, been discontinued, but it's a beautiful uh, Solidity library that uh, I urge you all to check out. The next big feature is NPM integration. So the ideal for package management on Ethereum is obviously something that runs, that has a registry on chain, something that runs, uh, that has the package data on IPFS. But 
it's going to be a while before that reaches terminal velocity. So what you can do now with, uh, with some of the new features that are coming is run npm install my package. And if that's, if that's a truffle, if that's a truffle uh, project that you built or somebody built and, and packaged up as my package, for instance, then you can import those contracts into yours. And not only that, it, it will take all the build artifacts and deployed addresses, and you can use those within your application. So if you go back to the test RPC and use the fork feature, like I mentioned, you can use live contracts via NPM and interact with real code that exists on the live chain. The next thing is Webpack integration. The, you know, let's, let's be real. The build system that came with Truffle doesn't support everyone. Uh, if you are a developer and you have to bundle your front end code, then you need something more complex. And Webpack integration, you could add a one line of code, or in this case, three lines, to your Webpack configuration file, and it will interact with your contracts and, make, and use all the nice hot module reloading uh, that Webpack provides. The next thing, this is just a small feature, but uh, you know, emotionally, as a developer, it's a really nice one. If you've used events and you've had to, let's say you're making a transaction and you wanted to watch for an event, or so you wanted to see if an event happened, you had to watch for it. And then after watching for it, you, that changes your, your control flow and the way you write your application. Uh, you no longer have to do that. So along with the transaction that comes back, or the transaction ID, the new version of Etherpruding is going to have the, the transaction ID, the transaction receipt, and all the decoded logs. So you can structure your application to say, run this transaction. Did it make this event? Yes. Continue on. The next thing I'd like to announce is a new website. So you can all go to truffleframework.com right now and get information about Truffle, tutorials, new releases. It looks like this. And uh, I'd like to announce the beta program. So before we make new releases, we'd like to release, a, release beta versions so we can get feedback fast. And you can sign up for the mailing list. It's a low volume mailing list. We're only going to send e emails about Truffle uh, and about the beta program. You can get on it at truffleframework.com. As well, you can see documentation for the, uh, the beta documentation. So one more thing. There's always one more thing. Everything I mentioned today is currently in beta. So you can go use it today. NPM install Truffle at beta. Use the beta tag. Uh, instantaneous forking, that's the fork feature from the test RBC. That's already live. NPM install Ethereum JS test RBC. You can try out the Solidity unit tests. You can try out package management with NPM. You can use Webpack. And you can have those smarter events that I mentioned. Up next, uh, Solidity 0.4.x support. That requires some ch a change to the Solidity parser. But once we get that, that will be in. Better network management, especially if you're going to be one of those people maintaining a Truffle package or a Truffle-based package on NPM. We're hoping to have more integrations. Uh, Browserify is one of them. More boilerplates to show you exactly how to build your app quickly and more tutorials. So uh, thank you. I have plenty of time left, which I didn't expect. If there's questions, I'm happy to take those. Uh, otherwise, uh, please ask me questions later. I would love to uh, answer them. Get on Gitter. Um, thank you very much.